Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Tagliolini, and in this video, I'm going to be doing some inside corners. So uh, basically, I'm going to be taking this tape, um, and then what you do is um, pull out the length that you need, and then you just crease it. There's a crease there, so you basically give it a good crease. I'm going to put mud in the corner here, and then put paper tape all the way down uh, this crease here, because there's, there's nothing here. It's just two pieces of drywall, so we need to finish off that crease. And so what I'm going to do is basically take some joint compounds. This is all purpose joint compounds. And I'm going to put mud on both sides of the joint here. Um, you know, pretty wide. So it covers, so it's, um, you know, so there's enough for the tape and then kind of go from there. So I'm going to start off by, I think, getting enough tape here. So move this over. And then the roll. And I kind of kind of guess here how much I need. I can always kind of like tear it off at the bottom. But I want to give you in the ballpark of how much I'm gonna need. So okay. It's gonna need eight feet of it. So I think somewhere around here should be good. So, the tape is ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and just start putting joint compounds on each side of the joint here. So, now you want to get enough material on there, but not too much. You don't want it to be a big thick glob, but you don't want it to be thin either. So make sure you're getting enough in there because you're trying to embed the tape as best you can. We're gonna put basically a layer of mud underneath, stick the tape on, or yeah, put the tape on there. And then after that, we're going to put a layer of mud over the top of it and it'll embed the tape. And at that point, we'll pretty much be good to go. Get some mud on here. I might fast forward through this because this is basically all we're doing is just throwing some mud on both sides of this inside corner. And then we'll come back here in a minute and embed the tape. Okay, so I've got a pretty good amount of joint compounds in there on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is take the paper tape. Like I said, I'm going to put a nice crease in it. And you'll know like this kind of bends one way easier than the other. So make sure you bend it kind of the way that goes a little bit easier. And go ahead and give it a really good crease all the way down for a nice sharp corner. Okay, I have a nice sharp edge here. I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit so you guys can see. Um, but I've got a nice sharp edge here. I'm gonna put that at the top. And the bottom, I don't have to worry about it too much being a perfect straight edge because that's gonna be covered by the baseboard anyways. So it's not that big of a deal. So I'll probably, this will be a little bit long. So I'll start embedding it. And once I get towards the bottom, I'll just kind of like break it off and um, this is okay if it's a little bit uh, jagged. Um, so, go ahead and start embedding this. And what you wanna do is take, have some kind of a knife and then kind of like start pushing it in the corner a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it up at the top kind of set it in place. Just like so. Yeah, 
and you can really cement it in place a little bit later. So I'm just kind of getting it set in more or less. And I'll kind of go back here in a minute. So just kind of getting everything in place. All the way down. Tear it off at the bottom. Sorry, it's kind of out of view, but just cut it off or tear it, tore it off at the bottom. And then now, now that it's pretty much set, I'm gonna go ahead and start embedding it a little bit more into the mud. I'm going to grab my mud pan real quick. I'm just going to go down like this. So if you can't see, I'm basically embedding that tape into the mud. You want to make sure you're not getting any bubbles. You want to make sure it's perfectly flat against the, against the surface as best you can. Continue this all the way down. Now you don't want to squeeze out all the mud. You know you want to leave some in there, obviously. Um, so give decent decent pressure to embed it, but don't push so hard that you're squeezing out all of the mud. Just a little bit. Okay, it's just about embedded. I'm gonna grab my six inch knife here. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and clean up I have some mud on the outside here. I'm going to go ahead and clean that out now a little bit. Feather that out. And basically what I'm doing there it's called feathering the edge. So like on this corner in here, I'm basically putting more pressure on this side, kind of bending the knife and then going down. So it really kind of cleans up this right side edge and kind of feathers it a little bit more. Same thing over here. Okay, that's about it for embedding it. Now, when you're doing inside corners, one thing I would suggest is 
Uh, when you're putting mud over the top, go ahead and do one side of, of the inside corner. When you, when you do one side, you, you can get that nice and perfect. Um, and then the next day, once that's dry, come and do the other side. Because if you try and do both, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get one side and it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be perfect to go. And then you go and try and do the other side. And then when you're trying to do that one, you're gonna mess up the other side. And you just keep going back and forth, back and forth. And your inside corners are not gonna look that clean, clean and crisp. So I recommend doing one side, let that dry, come back the next day, do the other side, you're gonna have a nice crisp corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one side of this inside corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and probably speed through this. This will take a minute, but basically I'm just putting mud into that corner and covering the tape. Okay, so I've got that pretty well embedded. I got a one layer of coat over this side over here. So I'm going to go ahead and start kind of cleaning it up. And I want to have a nice clean edge um, after I'm done with this. So I'm going to be pretty careful and try and get as clean as edge as I can. I can tell right now some of those corners didn't get quite enough mud kind of deep in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and really fill that in. So the corners like really got some mud in there. Go back over it. Yeah, much better. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I'll probably come back and do another coat in these corners. So I've got one coat on this side. I'll probably come back the next day, do this side, maybe give it a quick sand. And then if I need to do any little touch up or do a whole new coat, I'll probably do that. But that's basically how you do it. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then I can come back tomorrow, do this side and maybe a little bit of sanding. It should be a pretty crisp uh, corner to, uh, to finish up. So if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.